You know what we don't talk about enough? The messy middle, the space in between time. Look, a lot of time, effort, emotion, feeling, logistics, details go into making a decision. And then you finally land on it. You've chosen, you've decided you're owning it, but everything around you is still reflecting the way that it has been instead of the way that you envision it, it's going to be. This, my friend, is what I like to call the messy middle. This is the space in between time where we're not where we want to be yet, but we've left the space that we once were in. And you know what? This often requires a whole new level of diligence, patience, and action. That's why on today's Power Back episode, we're going to talk about navigating the messy middle so that we don't make bigger messes in the process, but instead take intentional action and practice our patience to keep getting towards what we actually want. Before we dig into the goodness of this episode, I want to let you know that there's a handful of different ways that I can support you because I know firsthand what this journey looks like and feels like. I've been down it many times of my own. And so I've got a couple of ways that I'd love to support you. If you feel like after this episode, you're really ready to have that accountability, someone outside of your own head, someone to help navigate the waters. Uh, it's like bumper pads when you go bowling, right? Like you you know you're going to get down the lane, but sometimes you just need a little bit of guidance to get you down to where you want to go. So one of my favorite ways to support you is through one-on-one coaching. You and me, my friend, undivided attention to help focus on your specific goals, challenges, and to get a very clear game plan so you know where to focus your time and your energy to call in the things that you really want. If you're more of a group coaching kind of gal, the Gutsy Collective Inner Circle is a perfect way to come together with like-minded people to make big shifts or little shifts in your life and in your business. And if you want to dip your toe in the water to get a little bit more of a feel of what it feels like to work with me, my ongoing on-demand classes are a perfect way to get very specific information to help you move through a particular obstacle or challenge. For instance, the December class is all about shifting from overwhelm to focus, which I know that we can all relate to, particularly in the month of December. All of these offerings are available at lauraora.com. And if you're not sure where to start, there's a beautiful little quiz to help walk you through to guide you to your next step. All right, my friends, let's get into the messy middle. This I have decided, so now what? First, I want to acknowledge what incredible strength, inner power, and clarity it takes to really come to a decision. And sometimes decisions are very glaringly obvious. So it's not, doesn't take quite as much effort or work, but a lot of times, more often than not, these bigger life shifts, these business changes, these career shifts, or, you know, I'm deciding to leave something behind, or I'm ready to embrace something new. There's a lot of fucking pieces that go into that, right? It's not just the thing. It's also the thing and everything around it. So coming to that decision and getting to a place where you have really stepped in and owned it, I want to fucking applaud you. And if you're still on the brink of making that decision and hoping that this episode kind of pushes you and nudges you closer to that, then you are right there, my friend. This is the space and time. And chances are you probably already know what that decision is. Now it's really about owning it. And the space that we don't talk about enough or hear enough about is exactly what we're going to talk about today, because you know, that's how I roll. It's this space in between worlds. You have done the work to get up to the point where you're making the decision. You can see and feel the possibility. You know that this was the right thing, even when fear is present. Notice how I said when, because it most likely is. Even when there is this crazy excitement that backs it up. There are pieces that we don't have all the answers for, right? Like we, you and I have likely been on a journey together, knowing how to shift those thoughts and to take aligned action, even when all of those details aren't present. So you've done that, but now you're in the space where, okay, I've decided now what the hell do I do? My outer world does not match yet what I've been envisioning where I want to be. And that can start to feel really kind of gnarly because I find that this really magical thing happens. You know, there's this tug of war leading up to the, like the claiming of the decision. But I find more often than not, when you do decide and you start to embody that possibility, you start to really feel into that decision, what you have decided on the things previous start to irritate the shit out of you. 
it's like the entire energy moves around and you can see it from a different angle now. And you're like, it's, it's almost like you look at it and you're like, I can't even believe I dealt with that. I can't believe I hung up on that for so long. I can't believe that I put so much fucking energy into that. And, and look, we all experience that. I would also encourage you to not stay in that space too long because then you're inviting like shame and blame and all that kind of stuff in. And we're not, we're not doing that. Right. We're just, it's cool to acknowledge it. And if anything, take that as reassurance to know I've made the right decision because the way that I look and feel about this now has drastically changed. So now we're looking ahead. We see what we want. We know where we're headed, but we're not there yet. And so this space in the middle, this messy middle is where it takes a new level of focus, patience, diligence, and intention to keep things moving forward, to not slip back and go back to what is known and what is safe, you know, safe in the sense of like what is familiar to you and to not go back to what just comes naturally because you know how to handle that shit. And on the flip side, it's also not about forcing and rushing and tinkering and controlling trying to make this thing happen before it's time is really intended to be there. Cause I don't know about you, but once I make a decision, I'm ready to fucking go, right? Like I want it done. It's actually kind of already done in my brain and my body because I've been thinking about it for so long. So some things just to kind of keep in mind in this messy in between is how your emotions and how your actions are trying to show up. Because some of the things that want to show up peep their head up out of the hole and be like, hey, I'm going to help you with this are things like impatience. I want to make this happen faster. I want to jump in. I want to, I want to control the time as if we have control over time. That often leads to rushing things, making decisions that are out of alignment. We start forcing things, putting our energy into things that don't belong or jumping ahead and making rash decisions that kind of take us down a squirrely road. And when we do this, we often end up making a bigger mess that we later have to undo. Now, there's always value in learning lessons and taking more knowledge and information in, right? Like let's, let's, that's part of this process. But we can also notice, build awareness around the energy that's in us as we are moving forward to notice when we start leaning in and wanting to rush things or sending a lot of emails to try to get answers or putting a lot of effort into like, okay, well, this isn't working yet. So now I need to try a whole nother thing, right? Especially when you're building a business and something hasn't worked in the four days that you've been trying, you're like, fuck it. We got to erase the whole thing. We got to try it all over again. This isn't working. Like things need time to gel. I actually find that this space requires more intentional focus than even what is leading up to the decision, because now it's all about staying the course. Now it's about staying connected. Now it's about really being intentional about your time, your energy, where you're focusing it and what you're trying to control. It's like this invisible game of tug of war, right? And we want to like really tug on this rope and, and bring it home and run through the finish line. But it really requires us to stay in our aligned selves with our aligned vision. So what do we do in this messy middle? How do we navigate this? How do we handle this? How do we stay into our aligned self and vision? Well, good news is, you know, I'm all about inspired action here. The first thing that I want to recommend, which is not always the fan favorite, but it is fucking power, fucking power, my friend. And that is being still. Now, being still does not mean that you're just sitting around waiting for your fucking dreams to happen, right? Like we can we can feel into things and manifest things all day long, but if we're not doing something alongside it, it just continues to be a thought. Being still means I'm not rushing ahead. I'm not poking my head into things when it doesn't belong there. It means I'm giving things time to work. It means I'm giving people that are involved the space to really marinate in things. The being still process is also an incredible time for you to connect. Like however you like to connect, or maybe there's a new way that you want to try things like meditation, going for a walk, grounding, perhaps it's journaling or vision boarding, or, you know, 
drawing on the wall, whatever that looks like for you, right? You know that this process gets to be whatever feels right to you. How do you connect with the vision? Because what happens is when we start getting in that like, like, ah, I want to fix this. I want to make this hurry up. We're, we're too far down in the trenches of the idea. And this being still portion gives you the opportunity to come back up and out and look at the entire picture. Why are you doing this in the first place? What does this mean to you? Is it really about a quick win or having it done today? Or is this about long-standing, sustainable health, energy, wealth, success, happiness? That stuff doesn't show up overnight. It comes from a series of actions put into place. So connect with yourself on a daily basis. And sometimes when you're feeling a little huffy and puffy about it, connect with it multiple times a day. This can be a silent, quick, like 30 second thing. My favorite thing to do is to get my ass up, right? Like if you're physically able, move your body, getting away from my computer, shutting down my phone for an hour, like just sometimes even just getting up, grabbing a bottle of water and taking like a walk around the block or in my building. That's enough to get me back into myself. This portion is really about recognizing that urge to fix, change, rush, or control things. Because you know that when you're aware of this, then you can consciously choose something different. So first things first, notice yourself, notice the energy that's into it and ask yourself, how can I connect with the bigger vision? What do I actually need in this moment instead? How can I help this move forward without trying to fix it? And then that's where the second portion comes in, which is taking intentional aligned action. Look, I know you want the shit done. (laughs) There are things that I am actively right now in this moment as recording, doing this exact process alongside you. When you want it done, you want it done. But we don't get to control the timeline, but we do get to control how we show up, what we do and what we don't do and what our energy is around it. So instead of lighting everything on fire and then having to go back and do damage control, what can you do? What's one thing that you can focus on today that can help pull this thing closer? This is an intentional action that helps you move forward without having to solve the entire puzzle, without everything needing to be done today. So for instance, maybe you've decided to start a business you know, now your brain's immediately going to, well, I have to build out a website and I need new branding and I want, I need a business plan and I have to build out my processes and my procedures and build out my product list and pricing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. We're not building a business overnight. I don't care what any fucking human on the planet sells you online. You cannot build a business overnight. And you can see how that energy, even me talking that man, that even stirs shit up in me, right? Like it puts you in this like, oh, I have to do this and that and this and that. And to do this, that requires that. And and it just gets gnarly. And then you lose sight of why you're building the fucking business in the first place. So instead of focusing on all that shit, what's one thing that you can do to call that business forward today? It could be as simple as registering your domain name, grabbing the handles on Facebook and Instagram, setting up your domain name emails, right? Like my name at mybusinessname.com. Look, is that going to bring in millions of dollars tomorrow? No. But are those things that need to be done to help build this thing that you're creating? Absolutely. This is what I mean about intentional action. Instead of trying to grasp everything and change everything overnight, we're just focused on smaller bite-sized ways that we can start to bring this closer. And when I say bring this closer, I mean that you're inviting this dream, this vision, this decision to come to you, to give it a pathway because you're meeting it where it needs to be. Another thing that you can really think about is what decisions need to be made. Right? This is an intentional action as well, because within every larger decision are more often than not a shit ton of micro decisions. So if it's a career change, right, you've decided I'm not going to stay at this job anymore. Another micro decision might be, what do I want to do next? What city do I want to focus on putting applications into? Could I make a list of five different places that I'm interested in applying to? 
This way, the next time you see something pop up on Facebook, you're not just applying to the next random thing that feels a little bit better, even though it's not really aligned. Intentional action also might be, what connections can I make today? Who could I reach out to? Is there knowledge that I can pour into myself? A blog that I could read, a book that I could pick up, a mentor that I could lean on. I'm also a big fan of chunking activities, doing like type of activities together. So for instance, if you need to send emails, sit down and send a bunch of emails that you need to handle. If you need to make phone calls, make the phone calls back to back. If it's planning out your social media, clearing everything else, closing everything out and just going deep in it. When you batch activities, group like activities, it really helps you to stay in the zone and gives you a better, better outcome of completion. And I don't know about you, but I do love me a good completion that absolutely helps to, to give you a little dose of dopamine that says, Hey, this is working. We're moving forward. And then probably most importantly, aligned action is also caring for yourself. Start getting used to asking yourself, what do I need in this moment? When you start to feel that tug, you start to feel discouraged because it's not moving as fast as you want it to. When you get into this place where you're like, see, it's probably not going to work because it didn't work the last five times. This is the moment where your body and your mind are calling for you to pay attention to you. It's not necessarily an invitation to do another thing or to check another list. It's what do I need in this moment? How can I pour into myself? How do I reassure myself? What is something that helps me move out of a case of the poopy, scoopy, shitty buckets, right? Like that's when I'm feeling just like really like, well, I kind of suck. Like it's a little bit of an Eeyore situation because the truth is we must be our own best advocates and you're a human being and you're going to have moments and it's okay to lean on others. It's okay to, to listen to something that sparks you. It's okay to read a book that ignites you. It's okay to pull up a podcast that gets in your brain hole. But at the end of the day, you are the one that must decide. And remember to get a new thing, it requires new action. It requires taking new risks. It requires trying something that you haven't tried before. And it also requires really incredible connection, connection with yourself to believe that this thing that I've decided on is working out for the best. That just because it's taking longer doesn't mean it's not coming. That just because someone has a question doesn't mean that they're going to run. That just because one thing was a no on this journey doesn't mean that the whole thing is a flop. And you know what? The remembering that you made a really fucking gutsy decision to move away from something that no longer served you and are leaning every part of you into achieving this new thing. And whether it's a lifestyle or a partnership or a business or a career change or a health shift, you have made a decision that betters you. So my friend, if you're in the messy middle today, I hear you, I high five you, and I'll give you a really big fucking hug because this is the space where powerhouses are born. This is the space where a lot of people stop, turn around and go back, but not you, (laughs) not you, my friend. You're the one that leans in. You're the one that takes risks. You're the one that does the thing that even though it doesn't seem like it's fucking possible somewhere, somehow inside of you, you believe that it is. So I want you to take this away today that you are on the right path. You have made the right decision for you and everything is fucking working out in the timeline that it's supposed to. And you know, what's funny. Sometimes what I share with you is exactly what I need to hear in that moment as well. So I would love to hear about your messy middle connect with me. I'm on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. You can connect with me at that Laura aura. I personally respond to my DMS. So tell me what's going on with your messy middle. Tell me Um, what you're excited about. Tell me one intentional action that you can take today. I'd love to have conversation with you about what you're shifting through. And a reminder that I absolutely adore supporting you outside of the podcast walls as well through coaching the Gutsy Collective Inner Circle, which is group coaching and through on-demand and online classes as well. Keep making bold moves, my friend. And until I see you next time, stay gutsy.